this is Matthew Hoffman with another episode of Do-It-Yourself Airstream. Okay, last time we were talking about uh, the first stage of polishing, which was F9. Um, today I've got a new pad, and um, actually a couple new pads, and we're going to go on to the next stage, which is grade C. First off, before I get into this correct pad here, I want to talk about two different types of pads that you can have while polishing. When I got the kit, this Makita polisher came in a kit with a bunch of different pads. Um, this was one of them and this was another. This is the pad you're supposed to use. I want to make sure that you do not use this type of pad. Uh, you can see that it's a lot finer. I believe this is also a wool pad, but this will not work for polishing. It's, um, you might get something out of it, but it's rather ineffective and I don't think it'll actually give you the mirror shine that you're looking for. So take this pad, put it away. There's probably other good uses for that, but this is not one of them. So this was uh, the pad that I used for F9. This is the first grade. You don't want to use this pad again because the F9 is embedded in this pad. So put that away and you want to open up a fresh pad when you move on to C. Now chances are you're not polishing little square by little square and then moving all the way, all the way around the trailer. This is important to know that you generally polish the entire trailer with F9 and then you wash all your pads. You can wash them in a washing machine with just household detergent. They also make special pad washing systems where you can put it in a bucket and then you spin the pad and then it washes itself. Uh, we don't have one of those, we just prefer to throw them in a washing machine. So, our brand new pad, again, this technique, you just stick your finger there and line it up with that hole in the middle. This is a hook and loop pad, so you want to make sure that it's nice and uh, kind of adhere to the uh, the Velcro behind you. This is grade C. It looks a little different than grade F9. You'll notice that F9 is a different color first off and you can see that there's some granules in F9 that seem to be a little bit more thicker like sand. So now you're moving on to C. This is a very similar process. You take about the same amount of polish, work on the same square that you worked on before we're just going 18 inch by 18 inch squares and you'll be going all the way around the trailer. Of course, if you were polishing an entire trailer, you would have already done the whole trailer in F9 before moving on to C. But you still work in 18 by 18 inch squares going all the way around. Now the first time that you put polish on a new pad, you're probably going to have to use a little bit more because the polish actually soaks up into the pad and that's what uses uh, that kind of abrasive quality creates this this pushing around of the metals to create this flat surface. So again my uh, RPMs are on about 800 and we're going to use pretty much the same technique where you go about two inches every second apply a fair amount of pressure. You don't have to use as much pressure as you did with F9 So that was the first pass. The second pass, we're going to go vertical. You can see this is a new pad and there's a lot of fibers coming off the pad. This is normal. And you'll know you've done it right when after a couple passes, generally all the polish is gone. Now what you can do is come back and hit these spot sections where the polish still remains and the pad actually soaks up the polish from the surface of the trailer. And about now you'll start to see that we're getting a much clearer shine and you can see the difference in steps. Yeah, you can see me through there now. And uh, yeah, there you go. Same thing, you'll use the spur when the pad actually gets full of polish so you can extend the life of the pad. And generally that's stage C. 
Um, the next step would be on to S, the final stage, and we'll see that in the next episode.